All right, ready, set, record. We're going to talk about the any type, otherwise known as the untyped interface, and how to avoid looking like a noob. Since Go 1.19, the any type has taken place of the in of the of the of the untyped interface. What do I mean? So if you want to type and you want to pass a thing to something, you can say var it is an any, and you can assign literally anything to it. You can type you can type something, right? You can type it equals one. Let's see if that dies, shall we? Go run temp food. I go, and it's like, uh oh, can't do it, right? I think we probably have to pick one. I think the type is defined on its first assignment. Um, no new variables on the left side of blah. All right, it. We have to print it. Let's print it. FMT print ln. I I'm a little drunk, so. Here we go. Go run there. What the hell? Oh, whoopsie. I had a very, I did a thing up there. You guys know about, I, I suck at go. I'm horrible. Why are you watching this? Okay. So I'm sure I'm going to get comments. Um, something. Okay. So it printed something, right? Let's see if this actually works. Nope. Why can't we do that? Because it was assigned a string type the first time. What we can do is this though. We can say, I want, now I want it to be one, right? And now we're going to print it and it'll print a one. And you guys know about printf, right? This is super cool. Check this out. This is a, you probably know printf from other languages. How about the T? The T will print its type. It'll print its type. You could go run. They say it's an int. Well, we forgot our line return. All right. We'll put the line return here. All right. Fine. All right. Go int. And what happens if I change it and I do this? I use this one instead. What's it gonna do? Go on blah. What does that have to do with being an any? Well, neither of those are any, right? But if I do var it any and and I and I assign it like this, you I want you to see the difference. So now it says it's a string, right? And we're gonna change this one to one. And say I want this to be a thing, and it changes the type dynamically. It changes the type depending on what's assigned to it. It can hold any type, and there's a million other ways to do this. Um, however, this is actually the same as this big long ass thing that we used to have to type. We don't have to type that anymore. Thank God, they added generics and also the any type, and in doing so, have like saved us all. And what I want to show you is that you can actually look up this type. And you can see that the type any is simply an alias for an untyped interface or they, what they call the, I'm sorry, the empty interface just to be, I, I missed, I misspoke. It's the empty interface. So the empty interface is the any type and it is unique to go. And it is absolutely an amazing thing. Um, you know, I'm not going to teach you the whole thing now. Go learn about it. You'll learn about it a lot. I am going to put together a series about how to learn to program in Go as your first language. Um, I've decided. But if you just want a chance to to play around with this, play around with the any type. The any type is really good. This is not generics, by the way. If you know what generics are, it's a totally different beast uh, that was added in 1.19 in Go as well. So hopefully that'll give you a little bit of a sense of what any is.